We are the City of Barrie Network, supported by local caring businesses. Enterprise Mechanical is a locally owned and operated full service heating and cooling company. For almost 20 years, we have been your trusted HVAC specialists in Simcoe County and beyond. And we welcomed our brothers and sisters into this territory and this land. And it was not long before the trees were stolen and taken and cut down. It wasn't long before the waters became empty of the fish and the other relatives that we shared that water with. This uh, Eagle Staff has been here for a very long time. It has a spirit and that's why this old man always leads uh, our community when we gather together as people and as nations of people. We've known about climate change for decades and for decades we've ignored the signs and done nothing. In 11 years we'll no longer be able to reverse the effects and catastrophes we've caused. Our futures will look a lot different than we want them to. The shores of our countries will flood due to the rapidly melting ice caps. Wearing face masks will become a necessity because the CO2 levels are far too high. The thing is, some of the effects are happening all around the world today already. We're striking because we don't want this future to be the reality for anyone. Not for you, not for your children, and not for your grandchildren. Unfortunately, many of you cannot vote. But all of you know adults that can. Your parents, your grandparents, your neighbors, your aunts and uncles, your older brothers, older siblings. So what I want you to do is I want you to go home and motivate the adults in your life to get out and use the power of their vote. Indigenous people make up 5% of the planet's population and we protect and defend 80% of the world's biodiversity. <laughs> second semester and I began to think hard. Think about everyone in my life who is doing something for our ecosystem. Thinking about the people I always told myself were fixing it. I couldn't count more than three. Suddenly every banana peel I didn't compost, cheeseburger I ate, and oil company I supported suffocated. Nobody else was doing it, so I was sitting there like, well, is anyone else going to take control of this? No. If you want something done, you have to start it yourself. You can't sit around waiting for other people to do it for you. The adults aren't going to do it for you first. We're going to have to start it first. On September 27th, uh, as I'm sure everyone is aware, around a thousand young people and their supporters marched in the streets right outside of City Hall along Collier Street to Meridian Place uh, to demand climate action. And many of them were demanding that we declare a climate emergency. The importance of declaring that emergency uh, is twofold. One, um, a lot of young people, uh, actually myself included, feel very real uh, anxiety about um, our future and the uncertainty of our future. Um, and I, I think it's important as leaders in our community that we validate um, that anxiety and concern um, and show that we stand in solidarity with our young people and that we hear you and that we will act. And secondly, um, it, I, I feel it's important to specifically declare a climate emergency uh, to join the call of, of municipalities uh, across this country and around the world who are doing so, using this specific language um, so that we, we, can, we can have global solidarity around this important issue. Um, 2050, being net, uh, net zero by 2050 is not a lofty goal. It is what the science requires of us. It 
it's not the language that's scaring young people. Um, young people are very aware of the issues that we're facing in our world today. Um, what they're afraid of is the very real threat of climate change and, and the threat that that poses to their future. Um, so I, I, I do feel it is very important that we, we stick to this and validate those concerns. Um, and uh, I hope Council will support uh, the motion as written. It states what it is, it's to, to name and deepen our commitment. Well, I think our commitment is actually demonstrated by our actions. And I think every activist out there from Greta Thunberg to the thousand people who showed up in Barrie are demanding action. They're not, they're not interested in any more talk. So what's important as well is that this motion came forward with a series of tangible steps. If this motion had come forward and simply said, let's declare a climate emergency, I would not be as supportive of this. Um, I think there are 288 municipal and city councils that have declared climate emergencies. Uh, we can be the 289th. That is not what is going to help the global fight against climate change. What is going to help the global fight against climate change is the, the initiatives that Council Raylan is putting forward in paragraph three, uh, the reduction of our own carbon emissions, standards for municipal facilities, uh, and so forth. Um, which will deepen uh, the city's work that is already undertaken. I do believe the original language that's on there to declare a climate emergency. I think part of the reason 288 other municipal councils have done so uh, is because there is a growing chorus of Canadians, especially young people, who are saying this is an emergency and we'd like to hear you uh, name it. So, uh, I'm gonna on the main motion as amended, those in favor, or any opposed, none, that's your name. Yeah. So this is a non-violent protest, no physical or verbal abuse, no damage, no alcohol, and no illegal drugs, no littering, no profit, no hate, and minimize your carbon pr footprint as much as you can. This is an everybody thing, but so far it's been the older generations haven't been really, con they, they've been causing climate change at unprecedented levels and not many people have been doing much about it. So we're stepping up for our own features and I'm um, hoping to get, well, really global integration into this, but yeah, it, it's mainly youth organized because we just need this to get done and we need to get it done now. 